I feel like a lot of people like when they're looking into getting into dollar cost averaging or getting into crypto, it's like everything's really overwhelming. There's so many options. And they think to themselves like, oh, I don't have very much money. Like I can I can't really do thousands of dollars every month. I maybe could do like maybe a couple hundred or a hundred dollars or maybe even fifty dollars every month. Can dollar cost averaging still work for me? You know, that that, that a, might be a question you might have. That's a phenomenal question of yeah. And that's the thing that you know, to be honest, when, you know, all the years I've been doing YouTube, people come at me with two questions. They, when they, they hear about crypto and they're really excited about, it, they're like, I want to buy crypto. I have two questions though. Is this the right time to buy? And the second question in their mind is how much do I need to put in? Like to, to really like, in a sense, make it in the long term or be able to retire off crypto, how much do I have to put in? Right. And I would say that neither of those are things you should be concerned about as, as an investor. Uh, they'll just add stress and more than anything, they'll block you from getting into crypto until you get the answer to these questions, which may not even be the right answer. Um, and I think the, the real solution and answer to it is really, as you mentioned, Hope, in this case, dollar cost averaging. And the reason why is because you can work with an amount that's reasonable with your cash flow, you know, from your income and considering your, the money you have to set aside for expenses, how much do you have for your investment portfolio or to put away in kind of a savings or investment portfolio? And then outside of that as well, uh, you're not worrying about timing the market. So, uh, you know, you're just averaging in over time, in this case, through good times, bad times, neutral times, and generally riding the upward trend here. And that eliminates both of those barriers. So you can get started today in this case. Uh, and again, as we talked about earlier, um, you know, whether in this case, you were to buy the market at the top in this case, or dollar cost average, right? Uh, getting started uh, and investing generally at any time is usually a good idea. Um, because inflation is almost guaranteed on an annualized basis. Um, and mm -hmm. you've got to invest in assets that are going to help you to hedge in this case, if you want to protect your purchasing power. That's just statistically true. So um, anyways, yeah, that's my, my general thoughts on it.